So as you might have heard already, I actually managed to build my very own Chrome extension that allows you to see the stats on the Illuvadex marketplace without having to open like 100 tabs and getting yourself IP banned. This was a lot of work. Um, it took me, it didn't take me too long in the end, but it was a lot of work to try and figure out because I didn't even code any of it myself. I used ChatGPT to code it. I know some people are asking for a tutorial on that. I'm not gonna do that today, but I am gonna do that in the future. But check this out. You can scroll through the marketplace, see all their stats, their levels and more. Now, it's not perfect. It works decently well. It's working particularly well right now. But as you can see, it goes through it all and it does a really wonderful job. I'm gonna explain exactly how it works, everything about it. I'm gonna show you some of the codes so that you can kind of see how I came through it. And by the end, you're gonna understand kind of what this means for Alluvium that I was able to do this. Just anyone is able to use AI to code these things. But more importantly, I'm gonna show you how to snipe good stat alluvials really, really easily using my tool. So first up is the code base. So Chrome extensions are really cool. They have four key files. So one of them is optional, but I like to use that myself. You have the manifest, which basically tells the Chrome web store what it is. You have the background, which basically says like that it is installed. I don't even know what this one is for. Like I barely know. Look, there's three lines of code, but it needs to have this or it won't let you upload it. The content styles, which is like how big the boxes are, what color they are and things like that. So that you can refer to them in the main code. And here is my content script. This one is slightly out of date. This isn't the full up to date one, but this only has 605 lines of code and it does exactly what I need it to. It's really cool. It goes, it searches this special API that someone found for me. It figures out all of the different stuff uh, regarding their stats and it shows it up on the screen. And then I built in all these other controls into the system as well. So if you're looking to get the, uh, if you're looking to get the extension yourself, you can literally just go right here to Aluva Stats and just add it to your browser. When you go to the little Chrome extensions thing, you can see that it pops up right here, Aluva Stats. It is just that easy. Like it just pops up right there. I've got it pinned on some other browsers, but I'll pin it here. I made a little logo for it. I made a little some little hype stuff here as well. Absolutely love this thing. It. I've always wanted to build a Chrome extension and I was so glad that I managed to. But let me show you how it works. I'm gonna show you with Scoriox to begin with. So you can see I have Scoriox here and I just search by line and type and it appears. If the stats aren't appearing when you do this, refresh the page, the, stat will, the stats overlay will full reboot and it'll be all good. As you can see in the top right hand corner, I have this customized stats thing with a bunch of different toggles. I'll go over that in just a moment. So with the Scoriox, here's how it is is you have a score in the top left, you have their level above, then you have whether the listing is listed or broken. Broken just means it might've been burnt or unlisted. Aluvidex has a little bit of this problem, so I thought I would add that in just to make sure that everyone could see which listing is real, so you don't get any of those weird passport connection closed errors and stuff like that. And then it shows the stats. From top to bottom, we have HP, resistance, omega, attack damage, attack speed, and movement speed. And if you like this sort of stuff, if you like all the work I'm doing, then please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Okay, so what are these stats here? Stats range from zero to five. Five gives a 50% boost in that stat. Zero obviously gives 0%. So the more fives you have, the better the Alluvia will be in the Leviathan game modes in all of Alluvium. Most Alluvium uh, competitive games will have a Leviathan game mode where these stats are impactful. So that is why they matter. The level also actually gives a lot of stat buffs as well. Less important on stage threes because since they all come at level 40, but for other, uh, <laughs> for other stage ones and stage twos, sometimes you're looking for a high level Alluvial. Now, the score at the top left, although I probably should have put a percent symbol in there, it's basically a percentage. It basically says, Based on these six stats, the score is 47 out of 100. You have 47% of the total possible amount. If they were all fives, it would be 100. If they were all fours, then that's about 80%, so it would be 80. If they were all threes, uh, 60%, and so on. You can see this is 47, so it's not particularly good. I've set up the color so it turns green at about 70. You can easily see them. And I think above 80 or 90, it turns gold or it turns yellow. So you can see that really easily. But here is the best part. 
you can decide which stats are relevant. For example, with Scoriox, I can toggle off move speed in the top right here. I can toggle it off and it disappears. I can toggle off, let's say, resistance. I don't think that's that important. And the score will actually update. Based on only these four stats, the score is 25. And what you can do is you can scroll down. You can keep scrolling until you see like a 60. We're looking for like those green numbers at the very least. See, here's a 75. The attack damage is zero, but it's max HP, Omega, and attack speed. You might not like that. I don't know. But me personally, I think that would be a pretty good buy. These are 70. You can see this one's low on HP, which might not be too bad, depending on how you play your Scoriox. You might want to defend it. I think this is pretty good. Then maybe if we enable resistance, we see it doesn't have very good resistance there. But you see just how easy it is to search for what you're after. I like to disable move speed, generally speaking, but that is the main one here. As we proceed, you can see that you can also find general alluvials. Now, I will go over some of the other marketplaces that let you really filter by a lot of this stuff, but I'm gonna go over that in a separate video. If you wanna see that, please let me know down below. As for this one, we can see if I'm just searching for tier five alluvials, I might have everything toggled on except move speed and just start looking for things that are scored 70 or 60 or whatever it might be, or look for like several golds in there. Like you can see, this has gold for attack speed. I don't know why it's only showing. It's being really weird because I have two tabs open, I think. I've never seen that before. That was a bug I did not know existed. But hey, that's what it is. I don't know how much I'm actually going to do this uh, work on this Chrome extension, but if people are really enjoying it and getting a lot of use out of it, I probably will. Uh, okay, it looks like resistance was toggled off, but it didn't show me. There we go, all fixed. So you can see this one here, like this Scarabok might not be perfect, but it has three greens. The resistance is three. It doesn't need attack speed that much. That's actually a really good Scarabok. I might actually just buy that. Screw it. And this is how easy it is to snipe alluvials on the market and find really good deals really fast without opening so many tabs or anything like that. Now, if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know. If you want a tutorial on how to make your own Chrome extensions, also, please let me know. But this was a lot of fun. I'm glad to share this journey with you and so many people are loving it. If you try it out yourself and you enjoy it, please let me know down below. Please leave a good review on the Chrome web store. I really appreciate it. And also don't forget to check out this next video all about the Alluvium Gauntlet so that you can learn how to play like a pro. Have a good one, guys.